Today, we are going to try and cheat the system a little bit. Let's talk about it. What is going on, everybody? Happy Friday. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your day. Hopefully a good start to your weekend as well. We are going to be trying out this Sultai deck that is trying to cheat around the fight rigging, uh, which is a really interesting new card from Streets of New Capenna. Before we talk about this, though, I do want to say a special thank you to Spinner Raptor. Again, a mod from our Discord who really does a great job with these decks. Uh, we did play one of his on Wednesday as well. Unfortunately, it didn't go super well, but that is okay. I think this one has some really interesting synergies and some interesting plays that we'll get to talk about as we go through. So, like I said, the idea is to cheat fight rigging uh, with that hideaway ability. <clears throat> so, what I mean by that is this is a three mana enchantment with hideaway five. So, when you play this, you look at the top five cards of your deck, you put a card of your choice of those five underneath it, and then if you meet a certain requirement, you actually get to play that card without paying its mana cost. So here's here's the play pattern. On turn three, you throw this down. Uh, you have, hopefully, on the next turn, something like Shakedown Heavy or Egon, God of Death, both of which have six power. If you put a 1-1 counter on them uh, pre uh, during the beginning of the combat step, you meet the requirement to play the exiled card because you have a creature with power seven or greater, uh, on the field, and then you just get to freely cast whatever you put under the uh, the fight rigging. Now, as far as cards that go under the fight rigging, what if we had a Tox Roll, or a Seagate Restoration, a Hullbreaker Horror, or a Vorinclex underneath there? All of a sudden, we are cheating out some very, very powerful things very quickly, uh, and hopefully being able to take over the game as soon as we can. So the idea is very simple. That's basically the whole the whole premise of the the deck. Uh, to help us get there, we do have things like Otherworldly Gaze. It's going to help us fix the, the top of our deck. This also works very well with the God of Death because we need cards in the graveyard to be able to keep him around. Uh, and so if we find ourselves having just a couple too many lands, maybe we can throw things away. Or if we're just digging for something important, we can throw all the cards away and then we've got basically what we need here. Uh, we do have Prosperous Innkeeper to kind of help us uh, ramp into and gain some life. Uh, we do have prize fight. This creates a treasure token, but it also fights off. And because we're playing very powerful creatures, it's pretty easy to, to win that fight. Uh, we do have Infernal Grasp and Alchemist Retrieval. Both of these can help the uh, get rid of stuff on the opponent's side of the field. Alchemist Retrieval, though, also can bounce our stuff for only one mana, which is actually really, really important because we want to keep a creature with six power on the field as best we can. Uh, as far as the rest of the deck goes, it's basically just big stuff. We already kind of talked about it. That's basically the whole goal. Uh, and then, of course, we've got some lands. It looks like 26 is the number, which is a lot. But again, we do have some very powerful things. And that otherworldly gaze with flashback, we can kind of get rid of some if we so choose. So that's the deck. Again, I want to say a huge thank you to Spinner Raptor for throwing some decks our way and really being helpful for this because he really does a great job uh, not only modding but also creating these deck lists for us. So thank you so much Spinner Raptor. We're going to take this first spin, hopefully have some fun with it, hopefully get some wins. Let's jump in right now. All right guys, here we are for game number one and I mean we've got the two major pieces in hand. We do have some powerful stuff that we probably won't be able to play until a while later, but we'll give this a shot and see what happens. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this. Part of me does like the idea of throwing the Throne of Death out very quickly, uh, but again, because we kind of want the uh, the lands here, or, or excuse me, the, the creature here, I kind of want to save it. Uh, and so I think I will, just in case. kind of want to see if we can pull this off early. One thing we've been running into in practice is a lot of things like Vanishing Curse or Elite Spellbinder, which can obviously pick apart the combo a little bit here. So definitely a frustrating play from the opponent, but we will have some options. I think the correct call is the Fight Rigging, um, but they might take the God of Death. Yep, and they do. That's kind of okay. Uh, it's not great, but it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and do this, and we'll go ahead and play that Fight Rigging. Unfortunately, don't have a creature here. Ooh, very good. Okay, so we'll take the Hallbreaker Horror. Again, that's probably one of the best things that we can hit here uh, because it is just so powerful. Um, and again, we're only a few mana away from being able to play the God of Death, so we'll see what happens. They may have a Vanishing Verse. I fully expect that at some point they uh, will throw that out on the fight rigging. Oh, they're going to Ninjutsu out. Okay, cool. 
That's actually kind of fine. Um, okay, so they're going to do this. Uh, they choose a non-land card and exile it. That's very good, but um, not really the end of the world for us. Uh, sure. Wow, another one. <laughs> okay. Um, well, with that in mind, I mean, I think we just go for it again. Again, don't have a lot of stuff we can do right away, but... Go ahead and play another God of Death. Um, not great here. Maybe it would have been better to play the fight spell. Uh, not a great hit off of the fight rigging, obviously, but that's okay. Uh, and now, though, what they have to do is if they happen to have a... Uh... Okay, cool. What are they... So... I think we just reveal Hullbreaker Horror. Um, basically, now, though, if they do have Vanishing Burst, they have to have two to get rid of both here. So now they're going to take, I assume, it might be the turn, I don't know. No, it's the Tox roll. That's interesting. All right, so we are guaranteed next turn to, uh, to have the fight riggings go off, so that's kind of sick. Nice. All right, that's actually really good. Let's go ahead and throw this down. We get to do this. We get to do this. Um, we're going to play this this way because obviously we can't have both. Uh, which is a little annoying, but that's okay. Uh, unfortunately, we only have one card in the, the graveyard here, uh, which is a little bad for us. <laughs> um, but we still have a Hallbreaker Horror, and that's definitely pretty powerful here. Um, okay, and they're going to take it out. So it actually means we get to keep this around, uh, which I guess this helps us do that as well. So that's fine. All right, cool. Well, I mean, they have to deal with a big 8-8 which is relevant. Uh, we'll see how this actually goes. Wow, they're gonna do this. Okay, cool. Fair enough. They're gonna get the damage in. Uh, we're gonna have a hard time here, I think. Hmm. Okay, uh, well, I mean, I think the best option is just to exile one of these so we can at least get a card draw piece going here. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's a thing that they have to answer, which they've got the answer for in hand here. Uh, but we have to force them to because, I mean, otherwise we're, we're basically just dead. So, not a better option for us. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think they kind of got us here. They were able to pick apart our hand really, really quickly, which is unfortunate. But, again, it's the nature of the deck. It's the nature of the meta. It's okay. Um... They also have the Hive of the Eye Tyrant, which can exile cards from our graveyard, which would actually be a pretty big problem for us um, in the long term, being able to keep the God of Death around. But they can just, of course, exile this if they so choose, which is fine. To do that, they have to kill their own creature as well, so it's okay-ish. Okay. Kind of happy we got rid of a land there, but unfortunately we just drew another one. Um, so let's exile you. Interesting. Um, okay, well, unfortunately we are in a bad, bad, bad position. Um, I guess we could have, yeah, we could have done that, which is actually pretty good. I'm actually going to bounce this. So this puts them in a position where they can't just outright win, which is relevant. Um, sure, they get to exile a card. I don't really care at this point. We're not really on the God of Death play anymore. Um, otherworldly gaze. And a land. Goodness gracious. Every land possible. Um, and we can't play the turn timber symbiosis based on that. We should have played this out for a different... Uh, different color um all of those go in the graveyard uh we'll play you and we're dead well that sucked all right that's fine let's jump to a game to you guys let's see if we can get a little better there What's up, guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just want to remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for our next game. Now, this is an interesting one. Um, 
But again, I think we can try. Ah, it's a little tricky. We don't have a creature, which is kind of the problem. We do have an overabundance of really good creatures in the deck, though. So part of me just wants to try this and see if we can do it. Uh, let's also keep in mind that Turn Timber Symbiosis is something we're trying to get to. Uh, and so having three green is very important. Um, hmm. I think we try it. We'll see. The Alchemist Retrieval is nice because, again, on turn two, we can just kind of tempo something, uh, which is helpful. Uh, hopefully, we're not against another deck that's picking apart the hand, though, because that obviously was pretty rough for us. Um, okay. Pretty straightforward first couple of turns here. We're really just trying to get to fight rigging. Hopefully, we draw a creature. One of our big three mana creatures would be amazing. Okay, uh, not a creature, but not bad either. Let's go ahead and throw this out. Let's do this. I'm all too happy to get this down now. Um, and then what we can do is bounce this after we hit, take a hit for three if we so choose. Um, yeah, we'll see. Okay. Thankfully, this doesn't have anything that it can actually hit right now. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. That slows down the retrieval a little bit. Not gonna block. Just gonna take the damage. Again, this is a very land-heavy deck, uh, for sure. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start hiding with the hideaway style stuff here. Um... Not great options. I think we just take this. Go ahead and throw a counter here. And I think I just pass. Leave up the blocks just in case. Um, next turn, what we can do is... Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Not positive. <laughs> okay. Uh, that we can fight off next turn, which is good. Well, any of this we can fight off next turn. Wow, okay. So we take nine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're just getting our butt kicked. Uh, Spinner Raptor, I feel bad, man. I feel like we're not doing you justice. Um, part of me wants to bounce this. I will. They've invested some mana into it at this point, so like I kind of want to see what happens there. All right, let's attack. Whoops. All right. My hope is they block. <laughs> I doubt they will, but they could. Excellent. So we'll get three damage in. Let's prize fight. Um. I guess it's the Sentinel. Really not sure there. But I think we have to fight something off. Um, and unfortunately, they can just like go for this once more. Which is what? Five, six, seven, eight. So they just win. Man, we're getting our butt handed to a spinner after. What is this? All right, let's go for a game three. Let's see if we can do it. All right, guys, here we are for our third game. Uh, this is a keep. We've got our shakedown heavy plus our fight rigging. So this could work. Uh, I kind of hate that we've got Seagate Restoration in the opener because I would love to get that under the fight rigging, but that's okay. Um, I think, honestly, I'm just going to throw this out. Um, just because it's a tapped land, I kind of want to keep this going. One thing I will say, Spinner Raptor, we have 26 lands in this deck. I know that's on purpose because we need to hit lands like very, basically every turn. That's really important. However, it feels a little bit like a little bit too pushed. I don't know that we need quite so many. Um, I think we just leave up the retrieval here in case they play like a naturalist. Sure. Okay. Uh, that's fine, actually. I don't really want to reset a Saga, so I'm not super into the idea of uh, letting that hit. So 
So I think the play is fight rigging first, then shakedown heavy. Um, because that then triggers immediately on the upcoming turn. Oh, another shakedown heavy. Sick. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this. So at the very least, we're... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take that. So at the very least, we're not guaranteed to like get the combo off, but we're pretty safe in assuming that we will. Um, this is a, a deck that's obviously just trying to go crazy on their turn here. So like, this is just a, a big push to get a bunch of damage in early, uh, which is fine. Oh, come on. Uh, good Lord. What is wrong? This is terrible. Uh, Spinner Raptor, I feel bad because this is rough. Uh, we are just getting annihilated. I mean, there's nothing we can do. Just play a shakedown heavy. Yep. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Uh, I can't believe they had the borrowed time immediately. That's so silly. All right. Yeah, dude. We're just getting owned. Good Lord. I am so upset right now. <laughs> I can't believe this. I mean, we're just getting annihilated. We've got so many lands in the deck that we're just getting owned with our top decks because we just have 26 lands. Like, we don't have anything we can do. I mean, yeah. I assume they've got more removal. No, but they do have a Weaver. That's very good. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, we're going to give this one more game, guys. We're seeing if we can do it. We're only at 18 minutes here anyway, so let's see if we can get one win with this deck. All right, guys, here we are for our last game. We are not playing another one after this. Do we keep, um, based on the fact that we've got a million lands in our deck? Yes, because we can shake down heavy and uh, use the, the prize fight to deal with some stuff. We also have Infernal Grasp, so like we can deal with some stuff that way. All right, there's the land. That's what we wanted. Um, play this out for green since we'll need the green. What do we want? Probably just fight rigging. Yeah. I think I just passed. I don't think we have to pull that trigger quite yet. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. I'd like to be able to save the Infernal Grasp for something that's a little bit more permanently going to die. Um, because it's a little tricky to, to kill that for sure. All right, sick. They misplayed. <laughs> we have a shot. <laughs> uh, that was just a bad play on their end. I don't know why they uh, did that. I mean, that's fine. All right, cool. Um, let's attack first. So, wow, they're just going to take it. Interesting. I don't know that I would have done that, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fight this off now then. Uh, and I think we'll just leave this up. Should have played that on green, knowing that we've got bigger stuff to come, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So they get to kill the shakedown heavy, which is fine. We could have played around it a little bit by playing a second shakedown heavy, but I mean, it's fine. I don't really think it matters. Kind of wish we had a land there, but that actually works out okay. Let's do this. Let's pull something. Oh my god. Why do we suck so bad? Um, all right, whatever. Not a good hit at all, uh, but it's fine. This is terrible. Uh, all right, depending on what they do, we Infernal Grasp. Yeah, 100% Infernal Grasp. Uh, I'm so upset. Yeah, I know you get your copy back, it's fine. This is terrible. Um, all right, cool. Double blue is important, so I will take it. Obviously, we get to then play the Prosperous Innkeeper for free, which is great. 
And I'm just going to play another Shakedown Heavy, I think. We could have saved that for a Hullbreaker Horror, but we don't really need to at this point. All right. Maybe we'll win at least. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, we're basically saying, like, you have to be able to deal with both Shakedown Heavies, and that's a little tricky for this deck to do. So there is a world where we probably get to win, but it's, um... It's interesting. All right, I will take another fight rigging, 100%. Okay, we did it. We got a win, we're ending it there. That was a ridiculous, just silly. All right, let's talk about this. All right, Spinner Raptor. So unfortunately out of four games, we only got one win. I don't know what's happening lately, man. The decks that you've been sending look really good and we just have either had bad matchups or bad luck or whatever. But I do really like the concept of this deck, which is to cheat the fight rigging into uh, that hideaway mechanic, which is really fun. I think hideaway being a uh, returning mechanic from, gosh, I think Lorwyn block was the initial hideaway mechanic uh, introduction. And like, it was a really fun mechanic then. It's really good now because there's so many high value, just like big plays. I mean, you look at the deck, we've got Toxroll, we've got Hullbreaker Horror, we've got Turn Timber Symbios. I mean, there's there's tons. Uh, and so for me, this is a really cool concept. In practice, it didn't feel great. Uh, and I'll say mostly, I think, because of the land count. Um, I, I don't know, maybe that's not it, but it did feel like we were just drawing land after land after land in a number of games where we really just needed to hit a thing. Uh, and unfortunately we just never did. And so, I don't know, maybe that's incorrect, maybe that's not a fair assessment, but I do think what's important to note right now is that there is so much efficient removal, uh, to deal with three mana things, and all of our threats uh, on the early turns of the game that help trigger the fight rigging are three mana threats. Now, obviously, later on in the game, if we can get something down, it's a little bit trickier, but Doomscar is in the format. You've got a lot of ways to answer a lot of things, and so I think that's part of the problem. Um, all that to say, though, it's a fun deck. It's a great way to utilize and kind of break the ability, uh, which I like quite a bit. Uh, and so regardless, it was a fun time. I really do appreciate it, Spinner Raptor. Thank you so much for submitting this deck to us. We've got other decks submitted from Spinner Raptor, from Sadistic Angel, from another of other individuals. So if you would like to send them my way, just DM me wherever uh, and send me a link to it. I'll give it a shot. But uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Don't forget to stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll have the collection update. Glorious Sunrise Podcast, 6 a.m. Eastern big episode coming on Monday. So do check that out as well. But guys, thank you so much again. I love you all. I'll see you later.